What's up, everyone? Kevin Wagstaff here, one of the owners and founders of Spectora. We've just recently gotten back from a few conferences and realized it's time for another mobile walkthrough demo. So I'm going to take you through and just kind of talk through the different aspects of the mobile app. So if you're new to Spectora or you haven't used it a ton, um, this is for you. This is a good beginner level course on how to use the mobile app. Um, we're assuming you've already logged into the desktop version of Spectora and scheduled an inspection. All right, so first things first, you'll land on your dashboard when you open up the mobile app in the morning. So the inspection will automatically import into your phone when you open up the dashboard and have a connection. So make sure to do that every morning. Uh, wake up, just at least open up the app and hit the dashboard so this inspection will be there. And you'll notice that the little arrow will be there if the inspection has imported. All right, so I'm tapping into the inspection. Now this is the inspection details screen, as we call it. So this will show you all the basic information about the inspection, the client, the agent, hopefully the bed, bath, square footage. And then I'm tapping on residential report to get into the inspection. So now we're at the section level. So this is the highest level of the template or report. If you're familiar with the desktop version, when you're looking at the template, this is the far left column when you're looking at the sections. So the first thing to note is that you can tap on update report cover photo here at the top and that'll either ask you to take a photo or add it from the library. This is just the cover photo of the report. Typically you want to get a nice picture of the home um, out front. All right, now we're going to tap into inspection details and just answer some of the general items and informational comments that are in there. So in attendance, I'm just tapping off some of these answers here and I'm getting the green check mark as you can tell as I'm going through. Um, this is a number informational comment where you actually have to put in a temperature. You can choose to get rid of this or not have it if you'd like, um, but there must be a number in there to mark it as complete. Type of building, we'll just answer some of these as we go through. We're entering a value here, that's just a test comment. And then any limitations. So, so it's worth noting that limitations is a different type of comment than your informational comment. The limitations will show in the limitations tab on the final report, whereas the information will show on the informational tab on the report. So you'll notice with any informational comment, you can always tap on the flag. What this does is this flags it in the report so you can review it later. This doesn't show to the client, when you save it to the cloud and view this on desktop, you'll see this flag. A lot of new inspectors just use this to research later or to ask someone else about it. The location button, we'll get to this later. It's more applicable for defects. You have the copy button. This will just copy that particular comment, duplicate it basically. Then you have delete. And then the photo button, you'll see the, you'll see these set of buttons on every comment. So you can take a photo of any given comment. So you'll see I tapped on photo and I'm going to use that photo and you'll see at the top right there, it's designated by there's three photos within this comment. You can always tap into any given comment by tapping on the arrow. And this takes me into that informational comment where I can type in more for context. I can save this as my default to the template. Um, that's a big concept to understand is that you can save comments to your template while you're in the field writing your report. One of the biggest advantages of Spectora's platform, it allows you to build your template and refine it as you're going and as you're doing reports. You can flag it within the comment and then you can go in and annotate pictures by tapping on the picture. And now I'm sliding my thumb from the bottom left to the top right, just to add a arrow there. Um, one quick hack, if you swipe from the left to the right, you can go back a page. That's something uh, most users don't know about. So now that we've finished our general section and inspection details, what you see that we get the green check mark there, but there's also an orange flag. So that tells us there's something we flagged in there. Make sure to follow that down before you publish your report, if it's something you made, you wanted to make sure you got back to. So on the section level or item level, you can always swipe from the right to the left to reveal the duplicate or delete buttons. This is a big feature, save you time. If something just doesn't apply, swipe right to left and delete it. So now we're gonna go into a section with lots of items within it. So we're gonna go into basement, foundation, crawl space, and you'll notice there's multiple items within this section. So from this level, you can mark inspected if there's nothing wrong or nothing to note. 
And you can also mark off observation or defect from this level as well, but you'll always want to tap into that item by clicking on the arrow to go in and actually see your informational comments that are within that item. So now we have inspection method. I'm going to tap that off. We'll, we'll say there's a limitation there and then no observations to note. And that's just the general item. So sometimes inspectors will put um, kind of CYA photos in there, um, just general info, not necessarily a defect. So now we'll go into foundation and select defects and we'll go down and actually select a defect. So we'll say minor cracks and I'm tapping on this first button here to notate which level of severity you want to assign to this defect. So you can, you can select this and uh, customize this in your template settings. And this defines which category it shows up in on the final report. So we said this is a minor crack. So we'll say it is a, just a me medium issue recommendation. And then we're going to tap the photo button. We'll take a photo there. And then again, I'm just going to drag my finger to choose the arrow. If I want a box, I can tap on the box and create that. And I'm checking the check mark. So we just notated a defect, pretty straightforward, right? So now you wanna say the location. So now we're using the location button here. And this pulls up a set of locations that you can define in your settings. This is also something you can free form type in if you don't have a location set and that'll work that way as well. So you can save that location and that appears on the report just like it shows here right under uh, the name of the defect. If you took a bunch of pictures on your phone and wanna pull those into this defect, you can always click on the gallery button here and that'll pull up your gallery. Video, you can add video to any comment here. That'll just launch the video and uh, you can add it to your report. We do limit the videos to 30 seconds um, because videos are extremely taxing on a server. Uh, and most videos typically don't even need to be more than 10 seconds or so to show like a faucet leak. One new powerful feature is global search. So I'm going to show you guys how that works at the top, right? You see a little magnifying glass there that I just tapped on. So when you're within any section or item, you can choose to only search within that section or item. Like I have here, you can see at the top, it says search only in this basement section. So now I'm going to type in the word crack. And you'll notice it pulls up my defects that have crack in there. There is a mobile option setting to where you can choose to only search within the title or within the comment or both. Um, so I'll just select that there. And you can also take the photo from this view. We'll annotate that. And then you can click back to get out of the search function. So some inspectors are doing a good part of their reports just by using the global search. Um, so if you're walking around, you see a defect, you can just go ahead and notate that by using search instead of navigating to it. Very helpful feature. Another quick tip for the mobile app, if you click on the dot, dot, dot at the top right, you can reorder items, you can edit the section name, or you can mark that section to save to your template. So if you've made changes that you wanna save to your template, you can click on that. You'll also notice at the very bottom, there is a progress meter bar, and that will be dictated by how many items, how many comments are within your template. So as you go through and touch each comment and item and section, that'll bump up and hopefully get you up to 800. So if you're just testing out Spectora and you made a few changes to your first report on mobile, you want to go back up to the inspection details page and click on save. So this saves it to the cloud. So then now you can go on desktop, view the report, see those changes before you publish it and send it to the client. The sync button here to the right is for when you make changes on the desktop version. So say you're at the computer and you make some changes and add a comment on desktop and you want to see it on your mobile device, you'll see the little icon next to sync it has an arrow pointing down from the cloud. So that'll pull down any changes you made on desktop and show them on your phone. And it also saves anything you've done on your mobile device. So the sync button can work well if you've made changes on both devices and you want to see them on both places. Now we'll look at the mobile summary. Inspectors are loving this because they're walking through their findings on site with the client. So if you click on summary, that's going to show you everything you've called out. And you can also filter it by clicking at the top right. And it'll say all observations or just issues and safety hazards. So you can filter this to your liking, but this will help you walk through what you found 
and you don't need a connection for this feature. So just like the whole report you can do without a connection, you can pull up this mobile summary and go through it with your client without a connection. Then you can click on the photos to enlarge them and go back. Another feature that's in your mobile settings is the CYA camera. So if there's pictures you wanna take and you only want them to save to the folder on your phone for this inspection, you'll see at the bottom right, there's a little camera icon and that just lets you go around and snap photos that go into the folder for the inspection, but they don't go into the report. So that's something you can enable in settings. And again, that's at the bottom right there. And you can also enable a flashlight from the app as well. So if you come across something that you don't have in your template, whether that's a section, an item or comment, I'm gonna show you how to add that now. So in the new section, if you go down to the bottom and click on plus section, it's gonna show you your optional sections and those will be notated by being gray in your template. And then you can also add any default sections back if you delete them, or you can just add a new blank section here at the bottom. So the same goes for items. So if you go into any given section, so we're in electrical, if you go down to the bottom and click plus item, you can add any of your already, you can add any items that are already part of your template, and you can also add a blank item. So now let's go into branch wiring circuits. I can click on new here for information. So I can add a new informational comment, or I can go down to defects or observations and click on new there. And keep in mind, you can customize this word observations here. That's part of the template settings and customizations you can make. Um, so that word may look different when you log into your account. When you add a new informational section on mobile, it is going to ask you if you wanna save this to your template. So if you do save this to your template, it's gonna ask you what answer format you want your informational comment to be. Most use the checkbox or the multiple choice answer format. So the checkbox is gonna look like this. And the multiple choice is gonna look like this. So there's a couple of new settings that I wanted to go through as well. So if you go to your dashboard and click on the three little lines at the top left and click on settings, this will take you in. So like I mentioned earlier with global search, you can search based on the title only or the title and the text. And then in terms of live syncing, so you can save on the fly as you're doing your inspection and it can do it automatically. You can select the sync frequency that you want every 15 seconds all the way up to every 15 minutes, or you can just do it on demand, which means you need to actually press the save or sync buttons on your dashboard. So that's really important to know. Um, some say it can drain your battery if you try to save every 15 seconds. Um, I like something more like five minutes or 15 minutes or on demand. Photo settings, you wanna make sure you're backing photos up to your gallery so you always have those photos in a folder for backup purposes. And then one important thing to know about the mobile app is the reset app memory button. So this is what we use to clear out. It's like a fresh restart on your computer. You must make sure that you save every inspection that is in progress before you press this button. So if you press the button, you're gonna get a warning that you're confirming that you understand your data will be lost if it's not saved. So if you, if you hit save or sync on all of your inspections, you're okay to do this. And we have this button because it clears out the memory of the app because this app does a, it's very intensive and it sends a lot of data back and forth and it can get sluggish at times if you have a low performing device with low memory. So just make sure that this is a kind of a fresh restart or a flush out if you have a bunch of inspections that are backed up um, on your device. But please, please, please make sure that you save any inspection that you do before you press this button. One last thing I wanna point out at the bottom right of the app, you'll see a little help button. This goes directly to our helpful and friendly team. Um, you'll get Casey, Alexis, Mike, myself. We really pride ourselves on world-class support and really helping you guys get comfortable with the platform uh, because we want you to enjoy using it. We want you to save time and we want you to feel like you have um, the support and someone that has your back. So feel free to use that, ask us any questions, send us a fun gift if you want. Um, we like to have fun with it. So. We look forward to hearing from you guys. So I think I covered most of the new features um, and some of the new navigation in the mobile app. Um, if I missed anything, we'll do more videos on it. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think of the demo. Thanks, bye-bye.